eye mask, bubble bath, gym routine, green smoothies, wake up early, face mask, bubble bath, gym routine, green smoothie, wake up early, face mask. Just stop. Stop. Okay, no amount of face masks or bubble baths or morning routines is going to help you kick burnout to the curb. Last year was the hardest year of my life, and I know I have lived a very blessed life, but 2022 um, was rough. I also felt this overwhelming pressure to succeed in order to pull us out of the place that we were in, but I felt like hopeless and stuck. I was letting burnout win, and I was miserable. That's when I discovered the secret to beating burnout. No, I'm just kidding. I I didn't discover the secret, but I did discover this book and it was incredibly helpful. This is Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle by the Nagasaki Sisters, Emily and Amelia. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna share with you three actionable tips that you can use today to break free from that cycle of stress. And I'm not saying that I'm a guru, I do not have it all figured out, but I am on a journey of healing from last year and I would really love to share it with you on this channel in what I am calling the Burnout Diaries. So without further ado, Here's episode one, let's go. Step number one. You know when you're getting chased by a bear? Yes, Abby, because I get chased by bears all the time. <laughs> no, but when you're getting chased by a bear, you're running away, you're running away, your adrenaline is up, every, everything is pumping through your body, and then you escape the bear and you did it. You are alive, hooray, and you celebrate being alive. That bear rushing towards you trying to eat you, that is a very real source of stress. You can look at it running towards you and you gotta run away. But our stressors are very rarely that visually predatory. They look a lot more innocuous, like filing your taxes or a very passive aggressive phone call from your mother. So in the burnout book, the Nagasaki sisters suggest that you try to speak stresses language and stresses language is body language. Don't underestimate the importance of body language. So what does this mean for you? It means moving your body joyfully is one of the best things you can do to complete the stress cycle and fight burnout. Oftentimes people hear this and they go, oh, I don't want to go for a run. You don't have to go for a run. You go for a walk. You can play ball with your dog in the park. Just move your body joyfully. Physical activity is the number one way to beat the stress cycle. It is telling your body you have escaped the bear, you are safe, and you can move on with your life. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna be in a constant state of someone's coming to get me. And that was like my entire 2022. So for me, this manifested itself in the form of a little squiggly puppy who you guys may know as my dog, Lemon. We got him in November and it has been such a joy that I didn't realize was gonna happen because basically you have this little creature that is gonna die if you don't take care of it, but you have to go take care of him regardless. You have to get outside, get in the sunshine, go for a walk, take him outside to do his business. Tip number two is inhaling and exhaling. Every yoga teacher watching this is like, yeah! Every therapist is like, we told you so! Breathing deeply is a great way to downregulate your stress cycle. I'm personally really bad at this. I have a condition called shallow breathing in which I feel like I'm gonna die all the time because I'm breathing so shallowly, I'm like lightheaded and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So I'm still working on this. I am not a burnout guru, but I just want you to notice how you're breathing right now. Is it shallow breaths? Where in your body is it? Is it up here? Is it in your belly? Is it in your head? Is it in your throat? Where is your breath? There's also a breathing technique that I learned from a YouTube video actually where it's like you do a, like a square of breathing. So it's breathe in two, three, four, hold two, three, four, breathe out two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four. And number three in the ways to fight burnout, affection. There's this researcher that they mention in the book named John Gottman who recommends a six second kiss. And it's something that he's researched and that is proven to downregulate your central nervous system. Because six seconds is way too long to kiss somebody that you don't trust or that you feel unsafe around. So it's a great way of telling your body, hey, you're not being attacked by a bear. 
you are with someone that you trust enough to kiss for six seconds. Other ways you can invite affection into your life if you don't have a partner that you kiss or you hate kissing for some reason is like a long hug or a or holding hands or some kind of physical connection that is that lasts longer than six seconds because it's a way of telling your body like okay you're good, you're safe. If you wanna know what your personal burnout signs are and how to fix them, I recommend Enneagram Types Feel Burnout, a video I made a while ago that I think has some really helpful advice. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.